We're here again with Lisa Morris, the president of the Sacred Heart Apostolate. Now, Lisa, the apostolate itself is not limited to the United States, is it? No, no, not at all. Um, by the grace of God, we've been to Haiti, uh, several times to Africa, Canada, and as of um, recently, we're scheduled to go Philippines in two, uh, 2020. That sounds exciting. Tell us yeah. about some of those um, countries that you have a, uh, approached with the Sacred Heart devotion and enthronement. Yeah, it's beautiful. So one of the stories is coming from the African missions. We had a priest here in our diocese from Kenya, and he started helping our with the enthronements of the families here. And he said, oh, my people in Kenya have such a love for the Sacred Heart, but they've never heard of the enthronement. He said, maybe someday we can take the mission there. And as God would have it, two years later, that came to fruition. We went not really knowing what to expect, but just putting it in God's hands. We had a, a mission, a three-day mission uh, laid out. And again, weren't sure how many people would come. And they, they, the parish priest there in Kenya put it out by media or however he did. I'm, I guess it was probably by parish bulletin, but and people came walking uh, distances, you know, that took them a full day to walk there. Slept outside, um, cooked outside. We had the parish mission for three days. They didn't leave. Uh, it culminated with doing the enthronement over the parish. Uh, it was the parish of the Sacred Heart, and over a thousand people were there. It had to be an outside. Uh, mass, and then we went to the different places, the orphanage, the uh, medical center, the schools, there were multiple schools doing the enthronement in each one of those as well, and, and families. So from that one mission, it spread then to Tanzania, uh, Uganda, and several more missions in Canada, or in uh, Kenya, rather. So... so these, um, the idea of a 21st century missionary in the Catholic Church is a little bit unusual, but this is a, a beautiful way that the Sacred Heart devotion is spread mm -hmm. and a way that the love of Jesus can go through mm -hmm. all the world, not just, not just right. in the U.S. Right. And really what happens, too, is because of Father William, the, peer, the priest here from Kenya, saying, you know, let's take it there, it was... We got so much, too, out of it because the people there have such a devotion to the Sacred Heart, but they hadn't heard about the enthronement, which is, you know, a further step. And so I think we all learned from each other. You know, we learned a tremendous amount from their faith and just, you know, they spent hours in adoration and the rosary, and, but they hadn't heard about this one step further. And so I think it's important to know that that all of us can continue to spread this and that it's beyond just devotion to the Sacred Heart. It's, it's something more than just devotion. And it starts with us, but it spreads through the whole world with right. God's help. Right. And what a blessing. <laughs> Touch my mind.